Vidaya, Hilda from Hilda Crafty. Today I'm going to show you how to make a decoupage bottle using a napkin, printed napkin on a bottle. So for this I've primed the bottle using uh, two coats of white acrylic and it's absolutely dry now. I'll be using this napkin and uh, it comes in uh, uh, one piece comes in uh, comes with four prints. I'll be using one piece uh, and few flowers from the other piece. But for this we don't need neat edges so I'll be using little water to make the edges little rough. Here I'm using my nail to make the edge of the paper a little rough. edges uh, like this and uh, we'll be needing just the printed ply uh, so for that we'll be and we'll be removing the other white plies which are there it can be one or two depending on the napkin so we'll just moist the finger in water dip the finger in water we'll remove the excess water we just need moist fingers and we'll just touch and we will remove the extra like this like this. So we just need the printed ply for our uh, uh, project. Decoupage glue for this. So we'll be using this. You can use this glue or you can make it at home. For that you can use fevicol, any wood glue, uh, two portions of uh, glue to one portion of water that becomes decoupage glue. Decoupage glue and we'll be doing it in portions. So I'll apply the glue here. Place it well uh, the way you want it. So I want it from here. So I put it here, and then I use a dry brush, flat brush. Apply this uh, decoupage glue all over the napkin. All over the printed paper. So I use any, uh, you can use any cling film or any plastic sheet. You just put your finger around it like this 
and just smoothen it out. Coloring the rest of the bottle by the base color. So I'll make this color by mixing these two colors, two fabric colors, acrylic colors that is flesh tint 30 and dark brown 05. The bottle is now dry and I'll be using a dabber to color. You can use a sponge uh, for this. Uh, dark brown uh, while this color is wet to just blend in dark color at the edges so I'll add little black in the brown and I'll mix it stencil and I'll be using this small dabber and the same brown which I mixed uh, uh, around the bottle. Allow the bottle to dry for some time and I have mixed the brown with little black and I use little water to mix it. And I use my toothbrush 
I'll take out all the extra. twine so I used it around the neck a bit and a little bit around at the bottom uh, for some interest and after the bottle is absolutely dry then you can apply this Mod Podge uh, gloss ferricrin or this varnish. Vintage bottle can be a wonderful gift for the upcoming Rakhi festival. liked my video do tune in again i'll come back again with another interesting video till then take care bye bye and i love you all